My, how the internet has changed so many things. How dating has evolved, if you will, if you want to say it's evolved. Some would say it's become a cluster F, just a messed up pool of knobs and vages, and everyone just going at each other, hoping for love amongst this mess. So I have an interesting video today, as always. A very long video documentary. I'm going to edit it down, chop and screw this video up. But there are many good points in this video. But before we begin, this of course is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. I hope you've had a good week, good weekend. Taking a few days off myself to recoup. Feel much better. So let's tackle this video here. The differences of dating in the modern internet era. Yeah. Enough waffling. Let's begin. Starting off is always tough. So, I've got to think of something. Who of you is single? It's estimated there are around 20.5 million singles in the German language areas of Europe. The internet and romance fit together wonderfully. The positive thing is that you get out of your own bubble and meet people you wouldn't meet otherwise. The chances of clicking with someone have increased. If you wait for happiness to fall into your lap, you can wait forever. But the sad thing is, many people do that. They sit there waiting for love as if it's going to manifest out of nowhere. Yeah, good luck. Any place, any time, quick and simple. For initial contact, a digital wink is enough. The choice seems infinite. Today, more than 2,500 platforms are available for searching for the perfect match. And the delete button is a big help in weeding out the non-starters. People looking for a mate are spoilt for choice these days. There's a platform for every need. Quick sex, secret affairs, or a lifelong bond can be sought online. We're after all the former. How many people do you think are finding this long-lasting love online? I doubt it's many. And the question is, is being sport for choice a bad thing? To the point where many can't choose or settle for anything or anyone? Too many decisions? Too many selfish people not willing to settle down because it's like, if you're a woman, there's like so much D out there to get. And if you're a capable man, yeah, there's tons of vag out there for you to get. What's the point in settling down? But then again, we all understand the effects of that mentality. Yeah, just a lot of banging and no commitment. Many people are active on several platforms, like 37-year-old Sarah. 37-year-old Sarah. 37. Nothing wrong there, I'm 37 myself, 38 this year. But like I've said before, for men and women, the age thing, it, it, there is a difference. There is a difference. For many men at 37, they're reaching their prime of life. A combination of their earnings, their appeal, their maturity in some cases. For many women, it's not. It's kind of like, oh, it's kind of like, oh, God, where's she been? But seriously, seriously. She lives in Vienna and has been single now for six years. Six years. You know, the correlation between many of these videos I show is many of the women have been single for multiple years. It's never one or two, is it? Pay attention. It's never one or two. It's multiple years. However, however, as we all know, these women have not been celibate in that time. No, they haven't. Nothing wrong there, nothing wrong there, women having fun, but, but yeah, as men, just pay attention to that point. Just because she's single doesn't mean she's celibate. She lives in Vienna and has been single now for six years. Many apps enable the first selection to be made from a photograph, while GPS indicates who lives in the vicinity. If you like what you see, you swipe to the right. If it's a no-go, you swipe left. If both parties are interested, it's a match, and the chat gates open. I think something else opens more than gates. I'm actually looking for a steady relationship, starting with the desire for someone who really wants to open up and spend time with me. No offense to some women this age. What some women this age should understand is men would date you, yes. A lot of it just for fun, just for sex. Many men can lie to women as many evil men do, <laughs> you know, lie to women. Tell them, tell them they're serious and, you know, <laughs> you know, get here to commit by pretending to commit as well. Because many men do know that, you know, you have to kind of lie to a woman sometimes to kind of make her give it up. So, yeah, the sad thing is many women will just continue to go through more and more men because at that age, no one cares. While she's looking for a relationship, 
Many men of the similar age are probably looking for fun from a woman of that age. Something serious maybe from a younger, from a younger woman. Maybe, maybe. Who wants us to open up to each other and do things together and then see where it goes from there. More and more people are using online dating services. The figure for Germany is 9.6%. And Austria brings up the rear with 6.3%. <laughs> In addition to smartphone apps, where a choice is made on the basis of a photo, there are also match brokers. You know, to make a quick point, when people talk about, oh, personalities and things matter, yes, of course, you can say yes, they do. But think of the time we live in where everyone's picking everyone based on their appearance first. Then question yourself again, what is truly real? Are we just mostly choosing our partners based on look first, which is common nowadays, or... Or how true and real is it that some people want more? That they actually care about the personality and all the extra stuff that comes with a person? Clients fill out a questionnaire. A computer program then works out who might be a suitable partner. Cool calculations lay the foundation for love. Now and then, I find profiles where I think, wow, I just have to get to know him. I've got this feeling. What? Oh, God, the feeling. Oh, the feeling. Oh, God, the feeling. At 37 years old, still having those same feelings that you had in your 20s, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is how many leftover women are formed. Many women still want to feel like they're younger, so many seem to just think younger as well, as if... That's going to work. It's not going to work. I'm sorry, it's not going to work. Regardless of how you feel and other women tell you, as men, we're looking at you differently. Plain and simple women doesn't matter what you think. As men, we're looking at you differently. Simply from the photos and five written statements. But that very, very rarely happens. Still, in reality, it's often confirmed when we first meet. I've got a feeling I can guess pretty well. I know what I like about a man, and I sense quickly if it's there. At 37, you should probably know by now, really, at 37. But what happened to the last 17 years of your life? I mean, I mean, what, 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 what was happening there? Were you just having too much fun, but now you want to settle down? Now, I'm just making a point. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean things will necessarily end positively. You're not dating enough. Believe me, everyone is just overjoyed when I send them on a date. Because dating is worse than brushing your teeth. Dating is like learning vocabulary. Everybody wants to speak a foreign language, but nobody wants to sit down and do their homework. Interesting point, smart guy with the glasses. My point myself and many other men have made before. A lot of women don't seem to understand. To understand men fully, you have to actually understand men. You have to actually learn about men. Thinking you know men because you know men want sex. Trash already, trash! I'm sorry, if as a woman that's what you believe and that's it, yeah, I'm sorry, you have no idea. Controlling men with sex is one thing, but women need to understand you can't do that with all men. And men that really have power, in many cases, you need to come with more than just your sex because the sex he can get from another woman. What makes you so special? We ask Sarah to take advice from one of the countless dating coaches who flood the market, known as the date doctor. The date doctor. The date doctor is going to cure your lonely sicknesses, yeah. Bullshit. Love sick loneliness, yeah. He is going to cure you, yeah. We can fudge it a bit. Take the famous three. Three kilos, three centimeters, three years. Okay, I've never heard of this one. When I'm used to the triple six, the many variations of the triple six man. But a triple three, yeah, let's, let's listen. That's still just fine. We need classic answers to classically stupid questions like, so what are you doing here? How long have you lived here? Because we don't want to say, I've been here 10 years and know 2,000 guys. Ah. Yep, sound like a right garden tool then. Yeah. Proper garden tool. You know 2,000 guys in 10 years? How many have you slept with? And wow. Even 10%'s a lot, Jesus Christ. And wow, I saw you and thought we might hit it off. When I think about how men stretch the truth, it's mostly about how tall they are. I'm a fairly small person, so in my case they didn't need to. Yes, yeah, some men would lie about the truth. 
because obviously like the triple six thing like i said before six feet tall i'm just under six feet i'm 5'11 i don't give a damn i don't think it's ever hindered me but then again 5'11 i probably never thought about it a shorter man however that may be on his mind constantly in terms of dating so in some cases i understand why men of a certain height would lie about their height on the internet I'm not saying i agree but i understand um Sometimes they lie about their age, too. Or they try to pose as someone who's looking for a serious relationship. <laughs> Evil men. Like I said earlier on, because they know some women are looking for that. So to get in there, they'll just pretend they're looking for something serious as well. Till they get what they want. And it's like, yeah, who cares? No one cares. But then they don't follow through and it ends fast. Well, of course it ends fast. <laughs> the nut fog is cleared. <laughs> evil men. Just evil men everywhere. <laughs> Women cheat too, me included. Yeah, oh, surprise. I'm so surprised. Oh, surprised, men, 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 be surprised. <laughs> be surprised. I'm taking the piss, but yeah, really, yeah. In my experience, the older a woman is, the less attractive she is, just because of the number that's showing. My pictures are all real and up to date. I know that I look younger than my age. So I'm not embarrassed to say I'm younger than I really am. No, you should be embarrassed to say you're younger than you really are. Because a man could be looking for a woman in her, you know, late, late 20s, early 30s and think, hey, I'm going to have some fun. But he could be a man looking for something serious. He could be. But then to find out you're 37, it's like, my God, you've already, you've, you've kind of passed the bar a long time already. Like, damn. I make myself about four years younger, Max. And I do tell them that when we first meet. Silence, you fool! Okay, we'll leave it there. So the video isn't too long. This is a very long documentary. And there are more parts to this. So if, so if you want a part two to this, let me know. But yes, as we can see, the desperation is strong. The desperation has become strong in so many of them. Even to have everything they want, many women still can't seem to find the right man or a man. Once again, with so many options, the problem may not be the men. Here, here, in some cases, it could be a lot of the women. Pay attention. In other words, in other words, in other words. Focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.